The situation in Israel is at breaking point, with thousands of Israelis taking to the streets in protest against their leader. A coalition representing these families has issued a clarion call for mass protests against Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. This urgent appeal follows the Israel Defense Forces, IDF, reporting the discovery of several bodies in the Gaza Strip. While the identification of these bodies remains unconfirmed, the revelation has incited substantial unrest and speculation. The Hostages and Missing Families Forum has urged the public to mobilize, pressing for a ceasefire for hostages agreement. In response, thousands of Israelis took to the streets on Saturday, amplifying this critical demand. Meanwhile, the IDF has cautioned the public against disseminating false information about the recently found bodies. Nonetheless, many perceive this development as an ominous sign that more hostages have perished. Israel remains embroiled in a fierce conflict since a brutal attack claimed over 1,200 Israeli lives and led to the kidnapping of 250 individuals. Israeli retaliation has resulted in over 40,000 Palestinian deaths in Gaza, according to local health authorities. A statement from the Hostages and Missing Families Forum declares, Netanyahu abandoned the hostages. This is now a fact. The group vows robust action, asserting, starting tomorrow the country will tremble. We call on the public to prepare. We will stop the country. Further announcements from the forum are anticipated on Sunday. Amid this tension, US President Joe Biden has been in close contact with Israeli officials about the escalating crisis. While Biden has yet to confirm the identities of the bodies, he urges for an immediate end to the conflict. He stated, I think we're on the verge of having an agreement. It's time to end it. It's time to finish it. Efforts to broker a ceasefire for hostages deal continue, heavily mediated by the US, Qatar and Egypt. The proposed negotiations outline a three-phase plan aiming for a long-term resolution. The initial phase suggests a six-week ceasefire, allowing time for negotiating the hostages' release and an IDF withdrawal from Gaza. However, Israel has indicated that this ceasefire may only be temporary leaving the door open for renewed conflict. The urgency and intricacy of this situation are emphasized by present and previous hostage crises. Over 100 hostages were released during a temporary truce last year, and eight were rescued alive recently, including Farhan al-Qadi from a concealed tunnel. Still, more than 100 hostages remain in Gaza, with 103 stemming from the attack. Of those 103 hostages, 33 are presumed dead, according to the Hostages and Missing Families Forum. This unfolding story portends imminent public protests and political moves as the nation watches intently. Netanyahu confronts intensifying pressure from multiple directions, including within his own party and from international allies. The IDF's involvement in the recent discovery adds another layer of complexity, indicating deeper implications. The Prime Minister also faces discord with his Defence Minister over terms of potential agreements. Manoeuvring through this complex geopolitical maze necessitates adept diplomacy and strategic decision-making. Delays could provoke further unrest, both domestically and on the global stage, amplifying the urgency to resolve the crisis. Internationally, the situation bears significant diplomatic consequences involving key global stakeholders. The hostage crisis today not only sparks emotional and humanitarian concerns, but also strategic and political ramifications. The resolution hinges on effective negotiations and managing an emotionally charged environment among hostages, families and the broader public. Stay informed as this crucial story unfolds, with more updates imminent as new information comes to light. This is a developing story and will be continually updated to deliver fresh, reliable information to you. Thank you for watching. Stay with us to stay updated on this urgent situation.